Welcome to System Test 13. Today we're going to be testing a lot of the fire alarms that are on this board. This is the ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel, also known as the Firelight MS 10UD. For the alarm right here, we have a wheel lock newer style MT. This one is actually branded by Siemens. The strobe is set on 15 candela, which is its lowest brightness setting. And the horn is being coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel. Going over, we have a wheel lock RSS fire alarm remote strobe. And once again, it is set on 15 candela. This test will be testing a lot of the smoke detectors, or actually all the smoke detectors on this board. So this is a system sensor 2WB i3 photoelectric smoke detector. This right here is a smoke detector that's actually made by Botch and its model is F220-P. Going down, we will test this pull station. This is a Firelight BG12L dual action conventional pull station. And of course down here we have the duct detector, which is a smoke detector. And its model is SL-2000N and it's made by Ewan Control. You can see the tag right there. And it has its according key switch, which will also go off when we test it. To start off the test, we're going to activate the botch smoke detector. I received this smoke detector from a single story residential home, and it was being used as a retirement home. And it got a new fire alarm system, and uh, I got to keep all the old parts. So we'll go ahead and activate it with smoke centurion, which is basically canned smoke in a way. We'll go ahead and spray it at the detector, give it a couple of sprays, and that should be plenty. That is quite loud. Since this is a four wire device, we have auto silence. Now we'll go ahead and test the duct detector. This is actually a special smoke detector that mounts to the side of an air duct. And to test it, we're gonna spray some of the canned smoke into the holes on the back. So these holes go into an air duct and air will flow into the chamber. And that's how it detects smoke. So we'll go ahead and just spray some smoke in there and see how Quickly it, it activates. There it goes. And we can go ahead and silence the remote test station just to keep that alarm from going off. Okay, now we'll go ahead and test the system sensor i3 smoke detector. And we will once again go ahead and do that with Smoke Centurion. I'm not sponsored or anything. And that should be plenty. Maybe not. There it goes. Quite loud, isn't it? And I know the panel says heat detector, I just haven't changed the programming since I changed out the device last. All right, now we'll go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm control system. And actually, we will do that from the reset switch that I haven't used in a long time. 
As you can see, it's just a little key switch, kind of like the duct detector key switch. And I just have it wired as a reset feature. So you just stick the key in, turn it to test, and it resets the fire alarm control panel. That's not really a feature that would be used in a building that often, but since it's a demonstration system, I have it being used. For the final test today, I changed the horn on this alarm to March time through the fire alarm control panel, and you'll get to hear what that sounds like. We will go ahead and pull the Firelight BG12L. Push in, pull down. Just silenced it from the enunciator. And we can go ahead and reset the pull station first. And then reset the fire alarm control panel from the enunciator. And this key is what activates the buttons. Without the key in it, it doesn't do anything. If you want to see some more devices be tested on this system, definitely check out my other system test videos with this board. I actually have a whole playlist, so definitely go check that out if you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone.